Hey guys, I'm here to do another tutorial for you guys. This is one like inspired by fall and everything because this is a weekly challenge uh, for beautyzine.com. Um, well, what that is, is it's like an online magazine run by um, Jessica. She used to be on you do tutorials for YouTube. I think her name was Picturesque Makeup. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that was it. Um, so now she um, has like this online blog and everything. And it's really, really nice. She works on it hard, I can tell you that. And she does these weekly challenges where she it's just a challenge and you enter in and then um i think how it goes is that the weekly winners like get randomly chosen one of them gets randomly chosen and win like a big prize at the end of the month so that's really fun to do and everything so here's mine the this weekly challenge was to use bright orange whether it be on your cheeks your eyes or your lips so mine is obviously the lips and it was inspired by fall and everything so i hope you guys like this and if you do check the blog post link below as well as the link to beautyzine.com and everything else that i do so uh let's get on to this tutorial all right so i already have my foundation and everything on um everything everything's pretty much the same but besides like concealer um before i did anything um, I put my eye cream on, like all my skincare stuff, like moisturizer and stuff. And then I put on this uh, Garnier Nutri Nutritionista, however you pronounce it. I've heard, heard every different way. But just the tinted eye roller just to put underneath my eyes. I just put a dot and then I blend it over. And then I used my Lancome, I don't know how to pronounce that, concealer. <laughs> a focus, please. So that one. I got this in a swap on MakeupAlley.com. You should go check that out. It's pretty awesome. I'm not going to go into it right now, but just go check it out. It's really awesome. So I have all that stuff on. The NYX HD foundation, that's the same. And then for my eye primer, it's just the NYX HD one. I don't like how it's dark over here. There we go. Um, so now I'm going to take my 224 big fluffy blending brush. And on my Urban K 15th Anniversary Palette, I'm going to take Vanilla. It's a really shimmery, like, pale golden yellow. And it's not going to want to focus. This one right there. And what I'm going to do is that, with that, it's been a while. <laughs> just keep that in mind, it's been a while. I'm just going to put this on the inner corner. And, like, the inner portion of the eye. And stop um, halfway on the lid. like that and then out of the same palette I'm gonna take Chase it's just like mm, dark gold color on the bottom and then um, Bayou in the bio Bayou it's Bayou and the Tarte for True Blood palette is kind of the same and I'm putting this on the outer portion and blending them together in the middle that way it just fades together. Kind of like the leaves do. Nocturnal out of my MAC palette. It's just like a light, lighter burgundy because this is Sketch. I'm going to be using that one after this. And Sketch is a definite burgundy color and they're both shimmery. Nocturnal is like the lighter purple, more purple version. And so I'm taking this and then just really Going to into the crease with this. I'm gonna take that sketch color and I'm gonna put with the E45 and I'm just gonna make sure this is in the crease and not so much out. And then with the fluffy brush out of my Tarte for True Blood palette, I'm gonna take Dusk. I think that's the name of it. Yeah. It's this matte, like pink skin tone shade. Right. There, not the blue, but this one. And I'm putting that underneath the brow right here. Don't mind that nasty zit. I put espresso in my brows if I didn't say that in the beginning. And then take a little bit of Nocturnal on the fluffy brush. Just so it blends nicely. And then go back with Dusk just to make sure it's blended. 
And I'm just going to take a tiny little brush and I'm going to take a white eyeshadow. I'm taking uh, Gesso by MAC. It's a matte white. I'm putting that right underneath my brow. Just so it's not all white up here. Like so. And then with that fluffy brush again, I'm going to take Sketch, that darker burgundy. And just go on my lash line with that. Sorry. Not too much, because if you do, since the red, with the red tones in it, it can make you look kind of sick. So, you can do the lighter purple shade. And then, on the same brush, I'm going to take Midnight 15 out of the Urban Decay palette. It's a shimmery champagne white beige color. And I'm putting that on the inner corner. And then blend that over and up. Now I'm going to line my eyes with the Maybelline Gel Liner and use the Maybelline Lash Stiletto Voluptuous <laughs> Mascara after I curl them and then put a little bit of white eyeliner in the waterline just a tiny bit just to brighten it up and it'll be the ribbon one. So I'll be back to do the rest of the face. For my cheeks, I just used this Estee Lauder Liquid Bronzer in Sun Bronze and um, what I did is I put it on my fingers then just dabbed it and like swiped it down and then I used my foundation brush just to buff it in so it looked natural and so it wasn't too boom bronze. <laughs> then on my cheeks I used the Cargo's The Big Easy, just a peachy satiny blush. Used this big fluffy brush to put it on and then for a highlight I used Max Mineralize Skin Finish and Light Scapade. Beautifulness. I guess I can put my hair down now. So I gotta cut a little bit shorter. Um. So onto the lips, which is like the main focus of this. Here's the eyes again, just as like a little reminder. Like the little um, fall transition, like the red, like the burgundy reddish color and then the gold and stuff. So here's onto the lips. I already put um, my Body Shop Lip Butter on before I started recording. And then now I'm gonna line them in NYX's orange lip liner. And I'm just gonna line them like normal lip liner like that give me props I just did this on camera besides that little portion that I bent down for and now with my lip brush which I need to clean off really fast I'm gonna while well, I'm cleaning it off I'm gonna be using the max cream color base in version aisle it came out for the stylish for the years collection um, I mean, I'm going all out with the orange, so you don't have to do this because this is a really pretty look on its own. You could just throw on like a pink gloss or like a coral gloss. But since the uh, weekly challenge is um, to use like a bright orange, I decided to use the lips to focus that with instead of putting orange on the eyes. And instead of doing both orange, orange, orange. Um, so it's going to be bright, but it's going to be like a... Hopefully. I haven't tried this out. I went with this and I was like, okay, this is really pretty. I'm going to record it. So, fingers crossed. So I'm just going to get some of this onto the, my lip brush. And just put it on. So here's with just that on. Um, pretty bright orange. Kind of doesn't really tie in well, so... I'm gonna put a gloss on top. This is Strange Potion Lip Glass from MAC. This came out with the Venomous Villains collection originally. Oops. And then came out with the Surf Baby collection. Yeah, that was the name of it, right? Yeah. And so luckily I got a hold of it then. It's a really pretty corally, shimmery orange color. So this will make it not as harsh, like, hello, orange. <laughs> So here it is all done. You can see how it made it shiny, but it's still not like, whoa, <laughs> it is if that made sense. So yeah, I hope you guys like this and yeah, I hope you guys recreate it. If you do, I always like to see I that. I hope it kind of represents fall nicely. I mean, this is really pretty, like the cranberry and the gold and everything. And then just this orange lip to like kind of throw it off a little bit, but not like too off to where it doesn't coincide, you know what I mean? So remember to check below for all the links and the link to beautyzine.com, 
to see like all the weekly challenges and everything. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!